Hey guys, this is Amy from Jack and Amy Dev. And in this series, we are learning all about host permissions, tabs permission, and active tabs permission. In this episode, we want to demonstrate what host permissions allows us to do. And in this first example, we are going to include narrow host permissions. What does this mean? Let's look at our manifest.json. We can request narrow per host permissions by including one or more specific match pattern. In this example, we are using only one, which is jackandamydev.com and any page inside this URL. Let's look at our background page. In this example, we're going to be creating two URLs. We're going to create a Wikipedia URL and a jackandamy.com. In the first one, we're going to use this as a match pattern and try to query with the URL right here and log the tabs object. And also we are going to try to inject in this tab um, a code that is just an alert that says you didn't say the magic word because we will see how this is not gonna work. Now this one has, we do have host permissions and we're doing exactly the same thing. We're going to grab the match pattern for Jack and Amy Dev. We're going to query by URL and then try to execute this alert. So let's head over to the Chrome extension dashboard. All right, guys, now that we're here, let's run this script and just see what happens. Okay, both tabs were open and we will go here to the Wikipedia and we do not see an alert. In fact, it says here that it cannot read the property ID. And when we were looking at the object here um, of this URL, it did not populate it because it just could not find the ID because it was looking for the URL and we do not have permissions for that. Now, on the other hand, we have Jack and Amy Dev and it did populate all the tab ID. And we see here that we included, it includes specific information like the title, the URL and the Favi icon. And in the last video, we saw that with absolutely no permissions, we still have access to if the um, general information about the tab, like if it's active or highlighted or even selected or pinned. But now with this host permissions, we have additional information. Now let's head over to Jack and Amy Dev. Oh, and look, you have permission to inject code here. So the alert um, did go through. Okay, let's real quick uh, ask for broad permissions and see how we can execute this same code in both websites if we ask for broad permissions. So I changed the permissions here to all HTTPS and all HTTP. And let's see if we have permission. Okay, we're going to run this code again and see what happens. So both of them open and we get uh, the tab object for the Jack Nimi URL. And we also get it for Wikipedia. And let's say I have permission, we could execute scr uh, the script and I also have permission, Wikipedia. Okay, so if you have broad permissions, you can do it in any type of URL. So let's just recap what the most important facts that we learned today from this example were. So when adding a host permission match pattern in the manifest, it gives us access to a specific information in the tab object which this includes the URL, pending URL, title, and Favi icon properties. It also allows us to use tabs.execute script and tabs.insert CSS. And number three, if you noticed, we can do number one and number two without the tabs permission. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any questions or support in the comments below. And good luck with your Chrome extension. Bye.